Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about enhanced mobility in Halo 5 and why it has a negative impact on gameplay. So Clutchism put out a good video on Sprint that I'll link in the description, but I just want to expand on one of the ideas in that video. So here's a similar comparison video. Notice how in Halo 5 you're restricted to an animation the entire time, whereas in Halo 2 you can shoot, throw grenades, even turn 360 degrees, all while moving at top speed. In this next example you'll see how Clamber has the same effect. Much like how maps were lengthened to accommodate Sprint, the height of ledges were also increased to accommodate Clamber. Once again you're punished for moving around the map, locked into a pointless animation. To contrast, in Halo 2 you can do every jump in the game facing backwards, while shooting, while throwing grenades, or meleeing. You're never locked into an animation while traversing the map. So which one is truly enhanced mobility? Clamber can still work in Halo, but only if it's never a requirement to make jumps. Forcing players to face a ledge and lower their gun isn't enhancement. It's an unnecessary restriction. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. I tried to keep it short and concise. Uh, if you liked the video, just give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.